Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a tag to the existing queue items. So let's say we already have a queue item added to this queue and we have few items. Let's say this one and if you don't have any tag applied to this one and you want to add a tag or let's say you want to remove this tag and you want to apply a new tag so you can do that using tag item. So we have one specific action available in work queue we view. So if you'll see here we have these tags applied to this queue items and as I told you in the previous video that we have created this loan origination queue and this loan origination has seven stages, right? So let's say the first item, the HDFC 01 you have picked and first time the first tag is pre-qualification process. And let's say you are, uh, your board is going to run on that specific item and it has completed that pre-qualification process, right? Now, what will be the next step? So next step will be application processing, right? So what you want to do your scenario or your example is once you will complete the pre-qualification process you need to remove that initial tag and then you will need to apply a new tag like what is the next process you need to apply the application processing tag so that next time whenever boat will pick the item so it will see that what is the new step so a step will be now that time application processing so if the tag is application processing so boat will only complete application processing right it will not complete pre-qualification process so you can use untag item to remove the tag and then you can use a tag item to add a new tag to that specific item so let me show you how to do that so here in this example you can see we have this seven stages so first time if boat has picked here using get next item boat has picked any uh, let's say process loan application this loan application part. So after processing this part I want to remove this tag and I want to apply a new tag that is application processing So that next time whenever boat will go and process that item So it will start from application processing. It will not pick the same item, right? I hope you got me what I am trying to say so that is just to maintain the step so that every time boat will not process the same item so if you have seven step Let's say first step you have completed and first time your tag is step one. Once you will complete the first step, you will just remove the first step and you will add a new step. That is a step two, right? So next time if boat will pick the same item, so it will check, okay, what is the step? What is the tag? So tag is step two. So boat will process a step two and then it will remove and then add a new tag that is step three this things I'm going to show you here so for that let me delete all these links here now I'm going to show you how to add a tag to the queue items to the existing queue item in the previous video you learned how to add a tag while adding a queue items right now I'm going to show you how to add tag to the existing queue items so we'll take one action stage here double click here select work queues so this is internal business object and then we'll select tag item so tag item is used to add a tag to the existing queue items and there is no condition so it can be added at the end also like after mark completion so as I told you in the untag item it can be added even the item is locked or item is unlocked now in the inputs we have item ID and the tag so item ID we are going to take as a new item ID this one that is coming from get next item and what is the next tag that you want to apply so let's say this one is for pre-qualification so pre-qualification process completed so after that what will I do I will add a new stage that is loan application so I'll put here loan application right now remove this now I want to add a new tag here but before that I want to clear the old tag the existing tag I want to remove and then I want to add a new tag so what will I do I will just put here untag and then tag item by this way so if this is pre-qualification it will untag this pre-qualification this tag and then it will tag a new that is loan application this one so it will ready to process this one 
Now same way, if this is a process application, so it will again untag this one and tag a new item. Let me take here. And this time, I want to remove this tag and I want to add a new tag that is application processing. So I'll put here now application processing. Now let me add a new tag again here. So if you have multiple, you need to take multiple tag and untag, right? Otherwise, you can also try to find some way where you can just pass a new new tag which can be taken from any other collection you can do. This example I have just taken to show you how to use untag and tag. So this one we have used for loan application. This is for application processing. Now this will be used for underwriting process. So let me copy this. Now, the last one that is loan funding. So this is the last stage that is stage seven. So if loan funding process done, it means process completed. So what you can do if the process completed. So what you can do, you can just either put a, a final thing so that you can understand. Okay, all the step completed. So you can write a process completed like that. And now this is a process all invoice. So in this scenario, I'm just going to remove the tag. And now after that, I want to move this to mark completed. So let me take here one anchor stage so that we can link this untag item here and then we can link this here and then link this here and link here. So again, now let me just decorate here. Now let me link all this tag item with mark completed. So after adding a new tag, I want to just complete that item and then go and pick next item. So I hope everything is connected now. Now we are ready to run that. So now get next item. And now you'll see here, now we have item that is credit decision. So if this is credit decision, and once it will complete this part, it will untag that one, and then it will add a new stage that is quality check here. So let me, so credit decision. So here we have a step to process that part. So it will now process here, and then it is going to remove the tag. So let me show you here. So you can see now tag is removed here. And then it will update a quality check. So here you will get quality check on SDFC 14 item key. Refresh. And you can see here SDFC 14. Now we have quality check. So we have added a new tag here. Now mark completed. Let me show you. So here you can see now we have added new tag. We removed the, the previous tag and added a new tag. Now next time it reads to quality check. So after quality check, our step is to untake the item and add a loan funding. So let me refresh and show you here. So now this is removed and then now a new tag added that is loan funding. Right? And mark completed. So this way you can remove the tag and add a new tag here. Basically here we are marking item as a completed, but what you can do, you can defer this item to any specific date like that, right? And do not, uh, do not mark complete. You can just leave as it is a pending. So next time what will happen? Boat will pick that item. So it will get same item and, but that time it will have a different tag. And then it will, whenever boat will run, it will walk, it will process that item based on that as new tag, right? Let's say now we have item that is application processing. So it will go here and then it will complete this process. And then what we are doing, 
we are removing the tag adding a new tag that is underwriting process so it will have underwriting process so this is the example I'm going to show you so now it has underwriting process so after this what you can do do not mark this item as completed just defer that item and then this item will be used again because now you you are working this as a step by step modular wise right and I hope whenever you will get this type of project this type of scenario you will able to apply these tags there so I hope this is useful if so please like this video and please subscribe this channel if you are new to this one thank you so much for watching this video if you want to learn UI path RPA then you can visit my youtube channel youtube.com slash UI path RPA if you want to learn blue prism from udemy so i have created one course for blue prism rpa complete course on udemy so you can go there and you can purchase that course and you can get the certificate from there i will enter the the referral code and the link in the video description you can go through that i hope you like that one thank you so much for watching this video